the legal battle between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard is getting a lot of attention. What's really going on behind the scenes? A lot yeah. of people want to yeah. know, you know, what is all of this? What does it all mean? You were talking to an yes. attorney this morning, yes. Christopher Melcher, to break it down. Right. I can't even go on TikTok, Instagram without seeing updates on the Depp v. Heard trial. So Amber Heard ended her testimony yesterday in the defamation suit brought by her ex-husband, Johnny Depp. That was followed by video testimony from two of her friends. Johnny Depp is suing Heard for $50 million, claiming defamation following an op-ed piece Heard wrote uh, about surviving domestic abuse. Depp says it defamed his character, even though Heard never mentioned him by name. Heard is countersuing for $100 million. Okay, so for the latest on this case, to kind of catch us up, let's bring in celebrity divorce lawyer Christopher Melcher. Christopher, my Twitter friend, thank you for joining us this morning. Well, thanks for having me, Amanda. It's a great story to be following. It's, it's like a TV show. I mean, every day we're seeing this yeah. live on on court TV and other right. uh, and your outlets it's amazing absolutely so listen you can't spell trial without T and this one has the capital T so let's spill all of it right now Amber Heard claimed that Johnny Depp was physically abusive towards her and she lived in fear of him but yesterday we discovered that she gave him a huge knife as a gift the knife was displayed to the jury what does this mean for the case well, it's, it's one of these jarring inconsistencies, and it's understandable that somebody would give a gift to uh, their mate, but it doesn't make sense when she claimed that she was living in fear all of this time that she would give a big, scary weapon to him. So these are one of the things, and they actually displayed that to the jury because mm -hmm. the photo doesn't do it justice. So this is just one of the cons inconsistencies. That's a huge knife. That's big. It, it, yeah. yeah, that's a big knife. Yeah. yeah. And, and it's just, it, you know, and again, one of these little data points doesn't really mean anything. But when you start putting them all together, the story just uh, does not hold up. You know, it's really sad to me when I keep hearing these audio recordings, and, and a lot of us are hearing them played in court. They're disturbing to so many. I have so many questions and concerns. Why this couple recorded each other the way they did and for how long they recorded each other. But in your opinion, what do these recordings reveal? Well, it is weird that they were taping each other, and under California law, you need consent of both, but mm. they, they didn't have that. Right. And so these recordings were allowed into evidence, and it's important because that's people unfiltered in their home speaking not many years later after preparation and putting on a bigger show in court. So what we hear in these recordings is consistently Johnny trying to de-escalate and avoid arguments, but mm. Amber wanting to pursue those arguments and saying, look, we're not done. I want you know to continue arguing with you. And so those do not sound like Johnny's the aggressor. It makes it sound like Amber's the aggressor. So it's very hard for her to explain that. She tried to, but again, it's her words, her demeanor, and she was really angry. And somebody who's scared of somebody wouldn't be using the really foul language and, and horrible words uh, that she was using in these tapes towards him. And let's talk about evidence. Usually when you have photographic evidence that, that can say a thousand words, right? But people are discounting some of the photos of Amber's bruise. There seems to be a bit of doubt on the severity and even, Christopher, the authenticity of her bruises. Can you talk about that? Well, Amanda, this is the most difficult part of it because we want to support people who come in and, and claim abuse. And Absolutely. she came in under oath with photographs showing bruises. And so, of course, everyone thinks, like, will this happen? But now that Johnny's team has had the time to go analyze this, it's there's problems with these photographs. And so some of them appear to be manipulated. Also, there's photographs of her one day with a big shiner coming out of court. And then the next day, nothing on her face. And she says, well, makeup. she had makeup she's, on she's the next makeup. day. She's claiming makeup, right. She's saying the yeah, makeup she, covered it. But, but the problem is it's a high resolution photo the mm. next day that I mean, it just doesn't look like there's makeup there. So, look, anything's possible. But, again, we start putting all these things together, and yeah. Johnny is showing some inconsistencies. 
My last question for you, this trial is all over TikTok. It's all over the internet. People are discussing it at the water cooler. What is it specifically about this case, this trial that people just cannot get enough of? It's amazing. And I think it's two celebrities and also just like, why? Why mm -hmm. are they doing this to each other? That mm -hmm. is bad enough to have a breakup, but then to do right. so publicly. And so publicly. like, why are we hearing about this? But it it's captivating all of the details. And I think it hopefully lessens for all of us of how not to handle a breakup. Absolutely. So public, so personal. Thank you so much for coming on. You can follow Christopher Melcher on Twitter. Just go to CA underscore divorce. I appreciate your take on all of this, Christopher. Thanks, Amanda. Thank you. And also stay with us as we continue updating you on the Depp versus Heard trial as it continues. I'll send it back to you guys.